right guys just got the confirmation that this was delivered and it is from ECPS so if you guys know anything about ECPS and Aston Martins these guys make amazing carbon fiber parts for the Aston Martin so we're today we're gonna be going ahead and unboxing this getting ready for an install on the 2013 Aston Martin V8 Vantage so I got uh, a front splitter a rear diffuser and a slam panel made by ECPS out in Poland these guys do fantastic work it took them about a month or so to custom make and another two weeks to get through customs so let's go ahead and get this unboxed and get ready prepped for the install Okay, first glance, I'm not gonna lie, it just looks like they just sent me a bunch of trash. But, there they are. I'm pretty excited. Let's see what these look like. Let's get these undone. the next day just ran out of daylight but man there it is the rear diffuser here is the front splitter and the slam panel these all came out gorgeous and <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it here but I got this just in perfect timing but uh, got a uh, custom made plaque and it's basically a recreation of my plaque except I just have my name on there. And they're there. Uh, there's 12 T30s that we're gonna remove five on this side two in the middle five on this side and this should just come right out all right fully installed just gotta put the badge on so I got double side tape here and we're gonna go ahead and place the placard on. All right guys, just finished installing. Uh, she looks great, great engine dressing here, a uh, piece of carbon fiber slam panel. And we went ahead and installed the uh, custom plaque that goes right there, so pretty happy with that. Um, looks very similar to OEM, so. All right, next up is the front splitter and the rear uh, diffuser. I'm going to have to lift the car for the front splitter and I'm um, going to actually have to remove uh, the rear bumper uh, to do the rear diffuser so we might have to save that for another day. Alright guys. Okay guys, uh, just got the car up. We're going to go ahead and do the rear diffuser today and uh, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is get the wheels off, get the inside fender liner off, get the tail lights out and then we should have access to all of the um, bolts needed to take the bumper off and get the rear diffuser uh, detached from the uh, bumper. Obviously there's gonna be some sensors um, and some wire looms, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So first thing, we're gonna get the uh, wheel off. It's a 21 millimeter um, lug and uh, a tip here before, because we gotta get the uh, rear under tray off, potentially, I'm not sure. Uh, but there is a 13 millimeter bolt that is right near the rear jacking pad. So if you take the rear jacking pad up, uh, it will cover that bolt and it'll make life hard. So I went ahead and undid that 13 millimeters um, and uh, we should have access to it once we get the uh, car up on the jacks. So let's go. Ahead. Okay, uh, wheels are off. Now it's to get the liner out. Uh, I have this, this is a uh, wheel spacer, not a spacer, but a, um, a ring for the wheels that I have just so that 
it can fit snug onto the hub. Um, but just so that I don't forget to put it, I just kind of keep it there for now. Um, so we're going to use a Phillips and a uh, T30. So there's four T30s on the inside here, two under the uh, rear section underneath that connect to the bumper, and one where that stubborn bolt is that I told you uh, get it out before. Um, I'm not sure you really needed to get it out, but I just I don't want to have to put the car back down and put the wheels on and get it out. Um, so Phillips T30, and then there's a breather hose right here. I don't, you can't see it in the camera, but there's a hole for it. There's a connector piece. Don't rip that. Um, make sure you pop that out. On the other side, I don't think it has one. Um, so let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so good thing that we uh, uh, took those two bolts out before we lifted it so we can get access to the uh, under tray. So I can't get the liners out uh, without removing the rear under tray here. I thought I could. Uh, I read somewhere on the forum um, that you could potentially do it. I tried it um, and no luck. So good thing we took those two 13 uh, millimeter out. There's uh, 20 altogether under the rear tray depending if you are missing a few here and there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that. In order to do that, uh, I had to put the wheels back on so I can lower the car because again, where the jack point is, is it sandwiches the jack point and the rear under tray. So I have to drop the car, get the jack point off of it, and then the tray will just drop out and then uh, lift it back up. What a dumb design. All right, let's go. Okay, the tray is out. Like you little tip here is I got all the bolts out except for the uh, centermost rear bolt. Uh, and that kind of holds it up so it doesn't drop when the car is uh, coming down. And then you can just reach right under there with your hand and pull that last bolt out. And as you can see, the tray is just laying under there. I can't get it out because it's too wide. I can't shimmy it out, so i got to lift the car right back up. So take the wheels off and lift the car right back up. And then we can get the liners out. <laughs> okay, uh, that was uh, easier now with the rear tray off. So do the same thing on the other side. T30, Phillips. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about a breather hose on that other side. Um, I don't know if you can see this right here, but this is the tab I'm talking about right here. Uh, and then, uh, same thing on the other side, so let's do it. Liners are out, wheels are off. Next thing to do is take the tail lights out. Uh, I've done these before if you want to watch my other videos, but uh, it's three 19 millimeters. I use a deep socket so you can get the uh, three out there. One's tucked underneath the uh, carpet, and then there's use, I use a flat head to take the connector off. Just be careful you don't scratch the bumper when you're doing that. And that's it. Let's go get these tail lights out. So, just got the tail lights out, and the uh, only thing left now is just the bumper. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just going to figure it out as we go. So we have a T30 right here, and then where the rear quarter panel goes, there is a T15 here, and that mimics on the other side as well. So, T30 right here, which is why you need to take the tail light out, and then this bridge right here that uh, mates up with the rear quarter panel, there's a T15. now. We do have to get the uh, tips out, the exhaust tips out. They're held in by three. So there's three in there, uh, two eight millimeter and a T30 that connect the frame to this bumper here, this rear diffuser, which is why those gotta come out, it looks like. And the same thing on the other side. So as of right now, that's all I know or I can see. And uh, I'll just update it as we go. So let's do the T30, the T15, and the exhaust tips, the 8mm and um, the T30. You'll need an extension for the exhaust tips so you can reach them from the wheel well. Okay, so this is the inside of the liner that looks into the uh, exhaust tips. As you can see here, I don't know if the lighting looks good or not, but right here is the 8mm 
up here is the T30 and then there's an eight millimeter directly on the other side of this and that mimics on the other side as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get those. You'll need an extension so you can get some clearance out of here and some clearance on that side as well. Um, and that's about it. So we'll go ahead and get that off. So this attaches to the rear diffuser, which is what we're replacing, which is why I think you need to replace or take out the uh, um, tips there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll start to look for other screws. It looks like there is another eight millimeter right here on the top. Um, again, I'm not doing a very good job focusing there, but uh, that's what I can see visually right now. So we're just gonna go look around and see what we can get. All right, so three, two eight millimeters and a T30, and let's take out this eight millimeter up top here and then uh, let's see where we get to. So I think we just found all the bolts. There's two seven millimeter bolts right up top of here. And you can see the gap between the two. And then there are, you can either do one of two things. There's a T30 straight in the back there, or there's two T30s, that black bracket right there that attaches to the chassis. You can take that off. And then you come around this side here. There was the T15 right here, T30 here. And that's where you get from the access of the tail light. And then if you pull the carpet all the way back, uh, depending on what model year you have, if it's in like an 07, I think there was a T30 right next to the fuse box right here. For me, it was a eight millimeter and it's this bolt right here. So that eight millimeter, <coughs> the eight millimeter comes out and then same thing on this other side. So you pull this carpet back, which you have to do for the tail light anyway. There's an eight millimeter right in there. And then coming around, there is a T30 here, T15 here, and then same thing over here, right up in this area between the fender and the rear quarter panel, there's a um, seven millimeter here and a seven millimeter here. And then um, there's three wiring harness brackets right here. It's gotta come out, so we unplug those three. Um, and then there are two on the bottom here. So right where, for me, there I have two. So depending on your, again, bumper, I had a sensor here, and then I have a sensor right here. So those two you can just get, right, see my hand coming in through here, you can just unclip through there. And then um, I think that's it as far as the harness. So we're gonna see if this drops, and I don't see anything else um, holding it. We also took the license bracket off, but not sure you need to do that. But we're, we're learning as we go. So let's go ahead and take this bumper. Away. Okay, uh, that's exactly what needed to happen. So, uh, bumper came, <coughs> excuse me, bumper came right off. Uh, the only problem is, is there's this wiring loom right here that basically is just one piece on the 2013, it looks like. Um, it goes all the way around and it goes all the way into here and then this, there's no detachment point. And it goes all the way around to those three prongs that we pulled out earlier. So we're kind of giving it some slack and we just biased it towards the passenger side. Um, but that's it. So now we're just going to pull the uh, diffuser out in place here and then get the carbon diffuser put in. And it's uh, held in by T30s and a bunch of uh, clips. So those should all detach. Alright guys, so here's the back or the inside of the uh, rear bumper here. Uh, so essentially there is a T30 that holds this bottom part right here connected and we're essentially moving this inner gut right here and that's what the rear diffuser is. Um, there's a bunch of these clips here that you can see here. Let's see if I can focus on that. So those are the clips you get like a flathead, put it in here and you can pop them out. Um, these come out, so these, I initially said that you could pull this out. There's a, or eight millimeters and a T30. Same thing on the other side. There's two eight millimeters and a T30 that'll release that. Um, and then there's a T30 here. There is uh, this inner mesh down here that needs to be transferred. Um, and those are 10 millimeters, so um, six 10 millimeters here. There is a 10 millimeter bolt right in the middle, right here. Uh, let's see if I can walk around and focus on it. 
but you'll see the T30 right there. You'll see the 10 millimeter right here. You'll see the T30 right here. And then you'll see these clips right here. There's a clip here, a clip here. There's a T30 right here. And then a bunch of other clips until you get down to there. So other than that, that's it. And then transfer it to the other carbon piece and then we'll reassemble. Just got the rear diffuser off. The bumper is flimsy, which is why we have it this way, because it still needs to support that wiring harness. Um, <clears throat> so everything I told you is the 10 millimeter to get the mesh off, six of those, um, the two eight millimeters and the T30 here, and then a 10 millimeter right in the middle that you saw, plus the three Torx T30s, and then T30s all around the uh, edge of it here. And then it's followed by a bunch of uh, clips uh, that go around and clip these two all the way together like that. And then there were two Phillips that kind of surprised us. So there's two Phillips that you need to pull out. And then after that, those two, just make sure your wiring harness clips are detached fully. And then it should pull right apart. And then you have this piece right here. So that's the piece we'll be replacing with carbon fiber. And then probably probably transfer the lights over as well. Yes, it looks like there's lights, backup sensors, yep. and potentially these metal clips yep. here. Yep, these metal clips, right. So whatever you can cannibalize over to the other um, structure, go ahead and do that. Um, and we should be good to go. So we'll start transferring and then uh, get it all reassembled. All right, so we got the uh, carbon piece right here. This is the back of it that we're going to uh, go ahead and reassemble. So some of the parts we're going to reuse from the... Uh, original diffuser so we're gonna get this mesh in here the six um, 10 millimeter bolt that's gonna go right around here we got the sensors that were transferred from the original bumper so Mike went ahead and removed them this is the actual sensor you remove that first and then here's the housing for it and then that just comes slides right out be sure not to clip or snap those uh, there's another one right here as well and those go into those two holes run right here one right there and then we're also going to transfer the uh, reflector lights. They are held in by two of these nuts as well. So they go onto this two right here. Same thing on the other end. Um, other than that... On, on the end of these, when you put these in, you touch the end of them with a little bit of uh, gasket maker so that these don't spin out. There you go. Yep. So gasket maker, uh, I think we have uh, over there. Right here so we're gonna go ahead and secure that up other than that um, and then we just have a bunch of clips here right so these are the clips that yeah, you have that secure the bumper yep so they'll go around uh, the carbon piece here that you see that Mike's pointing to uh, and they just go all around the edges here so that we can put our t30s in and then secure it to the new or the old bumper all right so that's we're, uh, uh sorry, and then those these, are license these plate are license plate ones. ones they go here and here yep all right, so that uh, pretty much does it for the rear diffuser. And then as you can see here, these two are for the uh, housing for the exhaust tips. So we'll go ahead and transfer those over when it's time as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get these. Just finished up the uh, diffuser. We got the uh, lant, uh, the lights transferred over. There's your mesh and your sensor. Here's your first sensor here. The mesh looks really good here. There is your other one there. And there. So we're just gonna let this uh, kind of sit up and cure. Actually, Mike will flip it over so we can kind of see the inside here. There you go. So there's your mesh and your 10 mils. There's your lights. Those are also 10 mils, also secured by some uh, gasket. <clears throat> maker which is those to give it some extra bond and that's it and then here's your two sensors one here one here so we're gonna let that cure and then while we're doing that the old diffuser uh, there we go old diffuser has these bumperettes which is really annoying so you can see you might pull that out right there and it has on the inside a slot 
the channel that can go in that is not on the carbon piece. The carbon piece is just flat all the way across. So what sucks is now we have to go back to the car. We're gonna have to remove these because those inserts are where those go. There's one here. So and there's one here. Yep, so we have to drill out. Here's a drill bit. We're gonna drill that rivet out. And then underneath here, we're gonna drill that rivet out there. And we have to remove these, otherwise you can't get that uh, carbon diffuser on because it'll hit this and there's no place for it to go inside the, the diffuser like the OEM one. So these two will come out here and we're gonna go ahead and drill. These stay. Yeah, the ones on the ends. There's also ones on the ends there. Outside of the stay. Just finished taking out those two bumperettes. Uh, so we just used the center punch, punched out the rivets that's aluminum on aluminum apparently. So they're really soft, really easy to do. We almost cut it out. Actually, we did get it out by just using a hammer and a punch, but you gotta drill the heads off so that they will fully attach. And so there's the hole there, and then there's the hole underneath there. And then same thing over here, one there one there so those two come off leave the ends there and now you should have full access to uh, putting the uh, diffuser mating it perfectly to that surface all right let's go ahead and get the diffuser now onto the bumper okay last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the exhaust tips into the carbon diffuser and then now we're gonna go ahead and mate it to the uh, actual bumper there so it's uh, two 10 millimeters and they have these little bumpers in between ceramic, ceramic bumpers uh, they look like this go in between so I don't know if you can see that but yep we'll slide them in and get those tips in okay the exhaust tips are in there are actually eight millimeters uh, two bolts there and then the third one is the t30 that attaches to the bracket on the car so I think all that's left now is to mate this with the underside of the bumper it's gonna be various uh, it's gonna be that 10 millimeter in the center uh, the various T30s um, and then a bunch of clips that uh, join these together and then we'll be ready to go ahead and put it back on the car and we'll just do everything in reverse. So we just finished putting in all the T30s and that 10 mil in the middle there just to kind of mock it up. Uh, I had my friend Mike hold it up to keep the pressure off of the diffuser because it kept flexing and the alignment was a little off. So he just kind of held it in suspension once we got the T30s loosely in there and then I just went around and tightened it and make sure all the gaps uh, look pretty good. So uh, one other thing now, we just got to put all those clips those little clips uh, you, you can't really see there, but uh, got them laying everywhere. So we're just going to go around the whole bumper and secure the diffuser to the uh, uh, bumper. So we just went ahead and finished up the uh, um, clips. Now we're gonna put it back on the bumper. Alright, 
just got the uh, bumper loosely hanging on there, but easiest way to do it, obviously have a second person to help you level, but uh, we put the T30s in first, got those holes aligned, and then that naturally set the T15 here on the corners. So got those loosely in, um, and then T30 here, T15 here, and then uh, on the inside, I had Mike kind of shimmy the bumper around so I can get the uh, the eight millimeter that's inside of there. And you can see it as soon as you open this up. And this one, I don't know if you can or not, but it is right where my finger is right here. So eight millimeter there. Some folks, I think if you have like an 07 into an 09, there's a T30 there. Uh, I might have a T30, but uh, uh, it might have gotten replaced. So I don't know if these are OEM or not, but that's what I got. So now. We got the uh, Phillips, or I'm sorry, 10 millimeter that attaches the bumper to the rear quarter panels. We got a knockout um, and some T30, that last T30 bolt on that uh, uh, rear muffler there, um, exhaust tip. And then Mike's gonna put on the license plate hanger um, and get those mounted. And then everything else in reverse, basically tightening everything up. We're gonna get the tail lights installed and then put the uh, liners back in, then the rear tray and then the wheels. And that's it for this one. So far, it came out beautiful, look at that. So, really happy with it, but a lot of work. Okay, just got uh, this side done. Basically, I think I said it was 10 millimeter, but they're eight millimeter. And there's one right here that mates the cr rear quarter panel to this uh, corner of the bumper, and another one just a little bit inside. Those two are done. These down here, uh, we put two of the three bolts on uh, to mount the exhaust tip, but there's a bracket that's attached to the chassis that's a T30. I had to loosen one of them up so I can kind of rearrange it, but that's easy, and that's a T30, so that's done. Uh, there is the wiring looms. You got to make sure you tuck above the uh, bash bar there and then um, clip in the sensors. Uh, and that's about it. So this side's done. Mike's working on the other side. Next is going to be tail lights. Just finished up everything got put back in tail lights went in and I uh, got the bumper all secured and there she is looks great I'm super excited about it it really pops uh, the plastic that was on it before just really you know fading and uh, but the, uh, the carbon here just looks amazing so I'm super excited and the fitment was almost perfect um, so Michael over at ECPS thank you uh, made life so much easier. So uh, everything else went by pretty easily. Uh, I just dropped the car. It was, it's getting late. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually clean the wheels up and clean the uh, liners before I put them back in. So I'll go ahead and install the liners, put that rear tray on, and then get the wheels uh, torqued to spec, and then we'll move to the front splitter. All right, guys, it's the next day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these liners in and put the wheels back on and then we're going to get the front wheel off, um, liner, under tray and I think air box and the grill and the front bumper um, to get the uh, uh, front splitter off. I thought there was a way to do it without removing the front bumper but it doesn't seem like it but uh, I'm going to try to cheat it and then regret it later so let's go.
the uh, passenger side liner in um, and we're gonna go ahead and put the driver side in now uh, only thing you got to be careful about on this side like I told you before is this breather hose and there's a clip right here so just kind of watch out for that 230 Phillips and uh, we should be good to go Last thing, put the tray on, put the wheels on, and then we're gonna move to the front. Uh, 14 millimeter bolts, there's about 20 of these, roughly. Uh, unless you're missing a few, or I might have too many, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, and then we should be moving to the front. just to get to that splitter but uh, again I'm gonna try to cheat it uh, and pay for it later but uh, <sighs> before you lift up the jack there's a T40 bolt that I pulled out that you can get by hand um, and it is literally right where this jack point is right under here so once you put this jack under here um, you're not gonna be able to have access to it so you gotta drop the car pull it out put it up uh, at least that's how it is for me but uh, you can get that one by hand without lifting the car up so pull those out on both sides and uh, you should be good to go so we're gonna get the wheels off the liner off and then we're gonna inspect um, actually the tray too um, and then we're gonna inspect and hopefully not have to go through the air box um, but let's get started Thank you. 